Here I want to tell something. Before the benzodiazepines were discovered and started using, we were using a lot barbiturates. Now we don't use barbiturate that much. We say barbiturates are not safe. And we say benzodiazepines are more safe. Why it is so? Actually barbiturate also work on the same channel. Now listen. If this is the channel, okay, this is the channel, chloride channel, GABA A channel, it means whenever normally it is very slowly opening closing. When GABA come, it become little fast. When benzodiazepines come, it become frequency opening more fast and pump, pumping in, taking in more chloride and making the membrane so negative that stimulatory neurons cannot stimulate it and we become calm and quiet. Is that clear? Now, benzodiazepines bind here, GABA binds here, right? GABA is binding here, please focus it here. GABA is binding here, benzodiazepine is binding here, but both of them are doing the similar function, they enhance the frequency of opening and closing. Is that right? Barbiturate also bind, but at, at other third space. Of course, that is allosteric space, right? Okay. Please, here I'm doing a little modification. I'm making it like this. This was the site for what? GABA. This was the site for benzodiazepine. And this is the site for barbiturate. When barbiturate binds here, it becomes too much open. It remains open. Huge amount of, very big amount of chloride will go in. Membranes become extremely negative and central nervous system become depressed and even it can lead to coma and death. So what is really happening? GABA alone, for example, frequency is, just we are taking an example that for example, frequency is 100 times opening and closing per unit of time, only GABA. Benzodiazepines came. Benzodiazepines simply increases the frequency of opening. Rather than per unit time 100, maybe now it is opening and closing 200 times. But if you don't give benzodiazepines and you give lot of GABA, GABA will not increase the frequency of opening and closing. GABA will bind at another LO site and disturb the channel so much it will remain open for very long time. Barbiturate, sorry. Sorry, sorry, barbiturate. When barbiturate bind here, they don't increase the frequency. Rather, they bind there and there is prolonged opening of what? Chloride channel. chloride channel. And when it is prolonged opening, so much chloride go in that membranes become extremely inhibited and that may lead to death. I can give you a simple example. When you are talking, there is a certain frequency you open and close your mouth. If someone kick you, what happens? Frequency increase, you start doing maybe abuses or whatever you can do depending upon the status of other and power of other person. Is that right? But what barbiturate is doing? Keeping the mouth open permanently. That's right? So with my mouth I show you the action of first of all GABA. Now benzodiazepines and GABA. And now barbiturate. You get it? So which is more, most dangerous? Barbiturate. Because so much negative ions will go in, membrane becomes so hyperpolarized, so much negative that it does not remain stimulatable. And if that is why barbiturate we now use but less commonly and in special controlled situations. Benzodiazepines are commonly used because benzodiazepines are much safer drug because they increase the frequency there is a limit to which they can increase. Do you are understanding? Any question up to this? <laughs>